Hi, in a previous video I showed you how to set up a terminal scratch pad in Xmonad so that we could hit a keyboard shortcut and bring a terminal to the front. So if I hit the keyboard shortcut, you'll see what I mean. We get a full screen terminal here in full screen mode. Um, if I switch to tiled mode, you'll see that the um, scratch pad comes into the master area and that's because this is set as a non-floating window. So what I'm going to do is actually show you how to create a Emacs scratch pad um, that will create a new frame in um, Emacs and display it in a floating window or a tiled window or whatever. Um, so I'll show you how this works. Um, I'm going to hit the keyboard shortcut and you'll see um, I get um, an Emacs uh, window come up. Um, basically this is a new Emacs frame. So if I switch mode um, to, uh, if I just um, hide that, if I switch mode full screen and bring it up, it will come up full screen. Um, in tiled mode, it will come up as a tile. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through um, the settings um, that you need to apply to your Xmonad file to set this up. So <clears throat> first of all, I've made the text a bit bigger so you can see it. If you're on a mobile device, uh, thanks to a comment under one of the videos for that. Um, so first of all, we actually need to import the named scratch pad. So import xmonad util named scratch pad. And what we're going to do is um, set up a couple of things in the different, a couple of different places in the configuration file. So um, if we come down to, um, if I scroll down to um, there's, there's the main section here but what we need to do is um, apply a setting to my manage hook and what you need to apply is um, this section here um, this symbol um, and then named scratch pad manage hook and then the name of your scratch pad um, which we're going to define below here so what we're going to do is um, create the scratch pads in a previous video I showed you um, creating a terminal scratch pad here basically we give them the scratch pad a name and set some variables afterwards um, and down here this is the terminal scratch pad which went over previously um, but this is the new Emacs scratch pad um, we define the name as Emacs scratch and create these three variables that we're going to use to launch Emacs and then find the um, Emacs window when we toggle the keyboard shortcut on and off. So what we've got is find Emacs scratch equals title Emacs scratch and this is how um, the uh, Xmonad is going to find the window with that title but obviously first of all what we need to do is spawn Emacs and that's basically starting a um, instance of Emacs client in a new frame and we do that with the following code um, emacs client dash a uh, for alternative editor uh, set to blank and what this will do is if emacs isn't running it will start emacs and we have the um, no wait and create frame and then the important bit here is the dash f option which will allow us to set the name of the emacs frame that we're creating um, which will be emacs-scratch and down here we're setting the perimeters for the window so in my case I'm setting it to be a non-floating window so that it um, will integrate with um, the layout that I'm using and so after we've done that what we need to do is actually define a keyboard shortcut that is going to um, take this name and toggle the window on and off um, so if I come up here, what you can see here is I've got um, two keyboard shortcuts to find one to bring up the terminal and one to bring up the Emacs scratch and the keyboard shortcut I've defined um, using easy config um, syntax is um, the mod key control and space uh, <coughs> so that's quite easy keyboard shortcut um, just to have your two fingers on <coughs> mod and control and then hit space to toggle the window. So that's the, the settings that we need to um, set up for the scratch pad is we need to first of all um, 
import the, the library up here, import xmonad util name scratchpad, then we need to edit our um, my manage hook down here and add this section name scratchpad manage hook scratchpads and this scratchpads corresponds to the name of the scratchpads down here and again we're defining these two scratchpads one for the terminal and one for emacs um, and if you look at the previous video this is um, a variable we defined at the top of um, our config file my terminal which is going to equal to your terminal um, but the main thing here is the uh, find Emacs scratch um, section um, find Emacs scratch the title this will find the window title um, of the frame this is how we launch Emacs uh, with the Emacs client alternative editor um, no wait uh, create frame with the frame name and then set the window to be non floating and then basically what this allows us to do is um, after we've um, defined the keyboard shortcut up here name scratch pad action scratch pads which corresponds to this name here and Emacs scratch which is the name of the floating window we're creating with the Emacs client and once we've done all that basically we can hit this um, keyboard shortcut and bring up the scratch pad so first switch across to um, my um, regular Emacs um, setup and um, just come across to my dot files um, and then what I'll do is I'll shift across here and you'll see that when I open the window um, the scratch pad is actually um, not open to the same buffer um, as in the main Emacs window is open to the scratch buffer um, you can see here I, I, just, I was just clicking the buffer names here so if I, I can actually bring up the buffers if I want from um, well I should be able to um, for some reason it's not actually bringing up the um, buffer from here so it's interesting the the buffer it seems to be separate um, from your main Emacs buffer so we've got um, this directory open in Emacs but if I switch across to the scratch pad um, you see it's, it's still set to scratch and um, even though it's um, listing the buffers here um, it doesn't appear to let me um, switch to them it, it seems to be set to the scratch which I suppose is a good thing because it keeps this window um, separate from all our other Emacs buffers so <coughs> Of course, we could um, bring up a, a buffer here. Um, you know, um, create a file. Um, and then just close the buffer. Um, no, I don't know how we didn't, I didn't save it. Let me just save it and then kill it. Um, and you can see, once I've killed the um, the buffer I'm working on the window still remains you could obviously um, you know kill the um, kill the kill this actual frame if you if you wanted to um, with uh, control X five zero but basically I can just now toggle this Emacs window um, and if I switch to full mode you can see I switched up to full um, full screen layout here um, if I now press the keyboard shortcut you'll see it comes up full screen almost like a sort of drop down quake kind of Emacs thing um, but if I switch into um, you know another a window so let me open up grid mode if I now um, hit the keyboard shortcut you'll see that because it's a non floating window it will now show up um, in either my stack or um, you know this um, the the master area or the stack so I can move that if I want to I can you know move that across um, and then hide it um, so it makes makes it really easy just to bring up a 
Emacs uh, window, um, edit some text, and then dismiss it. And of course, you can um, also, um, if I can just can kill this window, um, that basically means you've got two scratch pads, one for um, a terminal and then one for Emacs, um, so that you can easily bring up the terminal scratch pad. Um, and then if you want to bring up the Emacs scratch pad and then basically toggle them both to disappear. Um, so that's really um, convenient being able to bring up a terminal um, and um, an Emacs window that, um, as I've shown you, doesn't seem to share the buffers from your main um, Emacs window. Uh, it seems to be sort of independent, uh, which is kind of a good thing, which basically means you're not going to accidentally interact with um, any text you've got open in your main Emacs window. Um, it will be a sort of independent scratch pad that you can, um, you know, execute any Emacs functions you want to, edit a text file, um, you know, whatever, um, switch to, um, uh, you can run Tramp um, to edit um, files that are owned by root, if I can, um, if I can remember how you do this. Um, yeah, and um, I showed you this in a previous videos that um, Doaz has um, persistence um, uh, hang on. it has persistence um, so that you can add some text save the file close it um, and if I come back in here um, you can see it's owned by root this file I can um, add another line and save it. Whereas normally if you're using DOAS, it doesn't have persistence, um, meaning that you have to enter your password every time. Um, whereas if you use Emacs, um, what it will do is it will kind of cache your password um, and let you just enter it once. <coughs> so I can kill that buffer and then hide the um, Emacs window. So that's basically how you can create a um, Emacs um, scratch pad on Xmonad that you can um, then bind to a keyboard shortcut to show and toggle the Emacs window, um, which is really convenient if you're just, um, rather than switching to another workspace um, to do something, you can um, quickly just bring up a window, um, edit something, um, you know, bring up a terminal, hide them, uh, and it's just um, much more convenient than sort of switching to and from workspaces, especially if you're um, following um, a guide um, on how to, you know, do some coding, um, whether it's with Xmonad or anything else. You want to be able to see, um, you know, the text you're looking at, um, and, and actually, you know, bring up a bring up a text editor. Um, you know, make some changes to a config file, save it, hide the window, and you're back to full screen. So that's how to set up an Emacs um, buffer um, buffer frame um, as a scratch pad on Xmonad, um, just by um, adding a couple of lines to your configuration file. Um, and of course, you can use other text editors, but um, th they won't be as good as Emacs. So there's a lot of people using something called Cat or something. Um, instead of Vim these days, but um, Emacs is um, really the best text editor out there uh, once you get the hang of it. Um, so that's how you can uh, create a uh, frame with Emacs um, as a sort of scratch pad um, in Xmonad. And uh, you know, one of the issues I did come across, as I said, was that um, the the buffers seem to be sort of independent, so it's not going to show you uh, what's in your e main Emacs window. It's going to open up as a separate scratch pad, um, which is nice, so that you don't accidentally 
um, edit text um, that you've got open in another buffer on another window.